Hi everyone, we're going to go over forging yellow runes, the builds you can use them with, and kind of how to sort your rune management so that you're making more effect effective usage of these runes that you don't really use elsewhere, but you can efficiently use on your siege offenses. So one of the first things you're going to want to do though, is go and make a rune marking for Leo runes. Whenever you do get a Leo rune, you want to mark it with this rune marking, that way you can better sort it out through your uh, rune management inventory. And as you can see, I have some runes here. I need to add more runes here that are actually Leo runes because this was kind of added after I had accumulated all these runes. But for the most part, for example, like this rune, I would go and gym out crit damage for maybe accuracy, flat HP, or, or any other stuff I feel I'd need this for, depending on the unit I'm using it with. Um, here's actually a rune raider that I got recently. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't sure where to use it, but it ended up being a really nice bonus rune, which I'll go over the build in a minute. Um, and another thing to mention, even so, this rune that has speed, we can just gym out the speed and put defense or attack, for example. So it's okay to gym out speed um, if speed is located there. But I was going to look up some example builds. Um, here's a Lulu that's high defense, so this is great versus uh, Savannah defenses that you may want to try to avoid defense break. Um, also has 64 res, uh, 59 res is minimum when used with a 41% res lead. So for, in general, this is what I would use with my Tessarian Leo Lulu offenses. Um, here's another one. It's kind of the same idea here, but this is with a Tetra. And here is the Bellinus. Uh, this one is, you, I, I recently used it with Leo Tetra Bellinus. And it's a, it's a it's, it doesn't have a res lead, so I went with 100% res here. As in general, it's just a very safe build. Um, I'm going to use some of the runes here. Uh, this one here, I could probably gym crit higher if I needed to, but I, uh, I don't think I needed to gym it any higher. Oh, there's mosquitoes. Um, here's another one right here, very efficient. I went and gym crit damage. Um, there's that rune we went over before. Uh, this one, I still need to gym an HP, but I mean, hey, we'll, we'll get a part more five. Um, here's actually a really good. Uh, oh, here's actually a really good purple rune that I got from Alunia, and it's technically it's legend quality, but it's purple, so it's like, where am I gonna use this? So when you're farming for grinds, ancient grinds and gems, you'll, you're gonna end up getting a lot of blue grinds and gems that you don't really have use for. And those blue grinds and gems are actually quite nice for these ancient runes that are purple, that you wouldn't really find much usage else, elsewhere. So I ended up just tossing a bunch of blue grinds and gems on this rune, and it's, it's a quite a solid bonus rune for Leo teams. Um, here's another one right here. This one doesn't have attack, but it has the res I need for this build. So even though we don't have attack, it ended up being quite perfect. Uh, here is the Helena. Uh, this one right here is a 100% crit rate build. I'm not running crit damage. I want to maximize my uh, tanking potential. Um, so we'll go over her runes here real quick. This one has speed, but that's okay. Um, I, I had uses for a non-Leo team in, in the past, but for the most part, if you have a little bit of speed on the Helena, it's fine. And sometimes it's okay for tuning with GN because um, GN usually you want to be faster than Helena. But if you have a little bit of speed on a Leo team, it's okay. It's just not going to be as efficient um, unless you're taking speed tuning and regard. Um, here's another one here. It doesn't have attack, but it's still quite, I mean, it's still does the job. I put HP because I wanted to be tankier to survive. Um, here's another one here. Don't have attack, but. And in that regard, it's still fine. Um, this one also works as well. Here's another one right here. I can actually gem the HP or defense higher here. And then here's a really nice violent rune that I ended up just turning into a Leo rune. I could have put speed, but uh, it would have been prioritized for like an HP scaling uh, offense gym, which I could have done it for so, but, oh wait, actually no, I gemmed the defense right here. So I, it would have been for some kind of offense bruiser, but I figured I could get more efficiency uh, out of making this for Helena, so I jumped in defense. Um, here is Royd, used with Leo Riley Royd, so he is high HP uh, defense. Uh, crit rate is kind of whatever. You're mainly looking for the HP defense and accuracy with this build. Here's a Riley used with uh, Leo Riley Royd, also 100% res. You could actually just swap this over to any support. This is like a general Leo support room uh, build. Um, here is the damage dealer Leo used with res lead. Otherwise you can use it without res lead, but it's, you, you might want to reallocate the res if you feel you want more stats elsewhere. 
Um, this is a higher damage uh, with Res Leo. Um, it has Violent Destroy, and just so I, if I want to get more damage output, but it's not as tanky as these other builds. Um, this is actually a tankier build, a two-time foil, one-time shield, which is used with Leo, Helena, Gian offenses, a little bit of extra turn one protection. So this is what build you would use in that case. And then here is the Gian used with those Gian, Leo, Helena. But you could also use Bellness and Space of Helena, but usually Helena, Helena performs a bit better. So she has the 59 res used with her 41% res lead, good accuracy, and then HP defense. If you want to go really efficient, you can consider running crit rate uh, on your GN, but for the most part, uh, you do these are on tanky stats. Uh, I'm going for that. So here's an example again. Remember, she has res lead, so that's why she's 59 res. So we'll go over her runes real quick. Here's one right here. I mean, this is just a very easy purple rune that I just swapped accuracy on. This one just has stats. We jump in res. More stats right here. We don't really care for attack too much. Another purple rune right here. Could have been a support rune. Uh, but we just made it at GN rune. Here's another one right here. This one's, this one could have been better. I actually could have gemmed out the speed, but I kind of felt like I made a mistake when I gemmed out the other stats. So for the most part, it's still, it's still worse as a GN rune. And then here's the last thing right here. This one has crit damage, but it's kind of whatever. It still works out. So yeah, I mean, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to go over kind of example, little short examples. Um, I do want to mention that also that means that Runes that don't have speed, you shouldn't be throwing them away because you're gonna. If you're like me and you end up getting six Leos, you're gonna end up making use of those runes. And even if you have one Leo, you will end up making use of it. Um, another thing to keep in mind: um, you are specializing them for Leo teams, so you may have difficulty using them elsewhere. But for the most part, it's okay to specialize runes. It's it's okay to do. All right, thanks for watching.